Okay, rather than uh, take some pictures of the garden this year, I'm going to do the video thing. This is uh, Butea paraguayensis. Sustained some winter damage despite protection. This is the Waggy. Undamaged, no protection. Minus, nearly minus 12 degrees. Cordyline and Divisa. Doing well, just had a sheet thrown over it. A few warming cables around the bottom. No damage. And here we've got Yuccas, Gloriosa, Variegata, Dasilarian, some Arundinaria, Bamboos. Around the front, that's Rostrata. Volcano, with some burned leaf edges, this stuff just had blankets thrown over it, a few warming cables, some more yuccas, and the Cordyline Astralis, which this time last year was 15 feet tall. Tracky, and the big jube, of course. Chickened out in this one, and I put a mini greenhouse over it. Side. So no damage there. Big trackie. Again, no protection. No trackies at any protection. All perfectly okay. As was this one, small waggy. And over here we have uh, larger waggy. Again, no protection. This is the. Uh, Area Spatha, still soldier known. A few warming cables around this one, but really just a sheet after that, and no, no damage other than the, other than the fact that it's never really looked particularly good in the first place. Get a capitata, minor damage, but again just a blanket thrown over it. Sable Miner, uh, never does well here, it's just not hot enough for it. These are the variegated uh, cordon line, just started coming back in August. And again, this time last year it was 8 feet tall. So. Camerops Humilis, some damage there. Spear pulls in this one, but all grown back nicely. The four mems growing back after being devastated. And the other large cordial line, which again, 15 feet tall this time last year. And we've got uh, some of these, we've got sort of 9, 10, even 13 growing points. So it'll be interesting to see what they look like in a few years' time. More four mems. And the other camera ups, which I think it actually looks better with all the damaged leaves removed and growing out nicely from the centre again. Radicalis, bit of protection around this one. And the Serifera, which um, didn't have any protection whatsoever other than a blanket thrown over it. And I suppose about 8 inches of snow, which helped as well. So. And for those of you having a drought, this is what my garden looks like after I cut it the other night. No drought here.